Before we get into this video, I just want to say a massive thank you to Epic Games for sponsoring today's video, guys. If you haven't heard of Fortnite Creative, which, you know, I'm fairly certain most of you guys have, but if you haven't heard of Fortnite Creative yet, it is essentially one of the most popular things out right now, which is on Fortnite. And you can create your own maps, you can create your own creative builds, anything you want to by using the resources in Fortnite. It's super easy to get started. You can join in your friend session, or of course, you can have up to 16 players in your session at a time, helping you build, or even play playing your creations in Fortnite Creative. The way this works is you're able to fly around in Fortnite Creative. You can also spawn down any item you want to or prefabs, which are essentially set builds. These would include individual materials, houses, and even just obstacle courses. They've added in so many crazy things to Fortnite Creative. You can essentially spawn all of these things down. And if you like a certain material in any of these prefabs, you're able to select that material and then you're able to place or copy or rotate or do pretty much anything you want to with that material when building your map. So uh, they pretty much give you the ability and freedom to create anything you want to using the resources in Fortnite by using Fortnite Creative. Now, if you guys are stuck for ideas on what to create in Fortnite Creative, I have played some seriously good mazes, some racetracks, uh, even some obstacle courses as well. I will leave a link to Fortnite Creative in the description below so you guys can check that out. And once you've created your map, you're also able to set the game configuration so you can have minimal health for everyone. You can also set everything to no gravity. You have total control over the map and you have total control over the setting in which the map is to be played as well. Now, some of the best Fortnite creations are also being selected by Epic Games to be shown off in the block location, which is an official location on the Fortnite map. I will leave a link to everything in the description below alongside a way to get you guys involved in Fortnite Creative as well. So enjoy the video, guys. And uh, yeah, let's get straight into this. Maze Bank is going to be kind of concrete. So maybe that one, would you say? It's got oh that one could work. That's quite good for the materials. This is gonna be like a lot of trial and error. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, okay. So what if we went for two pieces for the wall and then stuck a window on it or something? Well, this is just annoying. Alright, so once you go over here. It's going to be another staircase, which takes you up even further. Oh, that looks so much better. Dude. All right, let's, let's add it onto the other garage quickly. I have my eye on it. Like, why haven't I used that yet? Yeah, that looks way better, guys. All right, so now we come up here. Maze Bank is going to start off around here. So we got to... Mark this out a bit. Nah, it's way too close to the edge. Oh my days. This is gonna be a tiny maze bank. No, no, no. We, we gotta do this. We have to make it this size. If anything, I will just extend that part, which I'm happy to do. Yeah, if anything, we'll just extend the base, which I think is more than possible. There we go. So what's going to happen is I'm going to have a door, like I'm going to have loads of doors here and you'll be able to walk around the base of Maze Bank, which is going to be like a, a better part of Maze Bank, I guess. So we can explore this area again. Yeah, we've got to build it out one more block, guys. Oh man. All right. We're going to have to extend this out now, which is fine. I'll just, um, I'll be lazy and just do this and then we'll extend it out afterwards. Because it is still a circle, so you just have to work with the square. So, yeah, that looks so much better than what we had before. And now we're just going to build this up. Like so. We will replace the texture and material and everything. I just want to get the base of this. So we're able to work out what to do with it. Yes! Alright, we got it. We got it, guys. We're getting the hang of this. We're going to add so much more to this. This is like the bare template of what you're looking at. It's going to have windows. It's going to have so much. Um, but this is looking pretty pretty good so far. That is what Maze Bank looks like so far. So these were just little pockets, uh, which you could observe, basically. Just little bits you could hide under. And then this was an actual garage. I wish there were like water fountains which we could have added in, but I don't think there are, guys. 
There's the stairs going up. Let's get rid of that. All right, perfect. There's the garage, which takes you in. Dude, this is actually looking so good. Oh, my days. All right, so, um... Bushes, I guess. Should we add some bushes in? Pretty good, pretty good. This one, yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. I'm not a gardener. I don't really know how gardens work. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add whatever I think looks nice, all right? That is looking good, guys. All right, on the corner as well. Yes, there we go, guys, there we go. Oh, man. Okay, it's still a bit out of line over there. All right, trees. Let's get some trees. Good, good, good. Uh, we'll build a few floors. I'm not going to build too many floors. Like, it's still going to be just stairs, and it's going to be high ceilings and everything. But it'd be good if you could actually go inside this bank, which uh, is the plan so far. Yeah, if this gets destroyed, they'll still find a way up. I'm, I'm fairly certain about that. That little, like, ding is going to be my nightmares. Alright, so they're almost at the top. They've now made it onto this edge. We have to make it so they can climb to the top if they wanted to. Alright, what do we think is under here? Hey! Just to show you how this works, you walk around here. This is how you get in. There's a little um, viewing point through there. You can walk in through here. There's like, you know, just a little maze of things in here. Just a room. Nothing too special. And then through here is where you walk up. This is the maze bank area. You can follow the staircase up and go all the way to the top of maze bank. Uh, which will take some time. Alright, alright. I'm getting the hang of this. I'm getting the hang of this, guys. Uh, remove that. And remove this one, shall we? Yeah, we need to now build this up somehow. Uh, we're gonna call this the boundary, by the way. Like, we could branch out into other buildings, but there's not enough space to do that. Oh, come on! This game is all about making it difficult, huh? You broke down or something. And for the next thing, what else can we add in there? Oh, this will fit. Awesome. All right, so this is meant to be the tunnel you can go down if you wanted to. Not recommended, because it does drive you straight off the mountain. Yes! This is perfect, guys. All right, so I could do this on the other tunnel as well. It just makes it more of a tunnel instead of just an open entrance, which doesn't look right on this one. Perfect. That is way better, guys. Way better indeed. Dude, this looks awesome. Oh, my gosh. Just look at this. Look how detailed Maze Bank looks. Downtown Los Santos. You see it here, guys. You see it here first. Oh, I know what I haven't done. I haven't added pillars along the other part of the road. Right, that's the next task we're doing. We'll have a secret plane. If you guys ever play this, you will know where the plane is. Apart from the top of the building, there's a secret plane around here. Oh, perfect, guys. Perfect. Let's work out how these chests work. So I haven't actually put a chest down yet. This is where all of the memory is going to be used as well. Like, everyone's going to be like, how is this map... 50,000 on the memory used. Oh, because of the trees. All right, so this is what we built in the seven hours. I have to say, this is way better than what I thought we could do. And now the moment of truth, guys. Are you ready for this? Let's just jump into the map. Um, I really hope you guys enjoy this because I have spent ages working on this, but the map is complete and I could add on to this map if this video does get a lot of support and if you guys want me to do that, then I will add on to this map. Uh, the extension I was thinking of doing was adding on a couple of buildings over there, which I think would look amazing if we did that. So I might do that if time goes on and if you guys really want me to do that. But overall, this is down downtown Los Santos in Fortnite and I have to say guys several hours later I am impressed with this I am really impressed uh, these windows took at least 30 minutes to add on so many windows I would say at least a thousand and uh, this is what it looks like we have some planes on top of Maze Bank we also have uh, a, a room which goes in here actually and you can follow this room all the way down uh, which takes you over to different uh, viewpoints and everything so you can look down here and you can see everyone down there uh, there's the road of course going around the block of Maze Bank. Uh, you can also jump out of these things and land on these ledges. Oh, wait, I need to add a, a ledge onto this thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's do that now before we carry on, guys. I'll just uh, copy this over and put that there. All right, perfect. So, yeah, there's so many different things which you're able to do with this. Another viewpoint in there, which, of course, takes you down some more stairs. A chest over there. Here's another ledge. This one anyone can access uh, without jumping down onto. Now, going down even further, a lot of these floors have high ceilings. This one doesn't have a high ceiling, but the rest of them do. This is where the high ceilings begin. This is a bit more basic, this room. I just wanted to add an interior. I didn't really care about the interior being really detailed or anything. I just wanted to add a really good interior to Maze Bank because Rockstar Games, they don't do that, guys. They don't do that. They don't give you an interior to the bank. So I, I really wanted to add an interior. And as I was streaming this, everyone wanted me to do that as well. So uh, yeah, we went for the interior. Now over here, this is the garden area or the outside of Maze Bank. Uh, there's really not too much to see. This is how, of course, you walk down and up Maze Bank. Uh, a little skylight view through there. And of course, another room through here. Uh, now, of course, you're able to go down here. There's the sky view, which I'm really happy with. And there's Maze Bank just over there. Oh my days, guys. I am really impressed with this. Now, this takes you out onto the pavement. This takes you up to the main road or the top road. If you remember around Maze Bank, there's kind of two roads which go up and the other one stays uh, underneath the road. There's a road going off into a garage, which you're able to go down here. Some of this has been adapted to work in Fortnite. We didn't have the most space to work with. Um, but of course, this takes you to the garage down here, which also has a secret passage going to the front of Maze Bank. Now, this tunnel takes you over to the cliff. Uh, you know, it's been filled in by rocks and everything. A landslide happens, so you can't get through there. Uh, but this road, which takes you all the way across into what would be the other part of uh, Los Santos, ends with this cliff over here. But if you decide to carry on going this way, there is a little easter egg over here, a tiny secret which takes you into this barn which has a plane over here. The third and final plane. There's two on the roof and of course there's one in here. So if you guys remember this and if you do end up getting this map because you can actually get this map for yourself, there is a code for it in the description below if you guys want to get this map for yourself then you're more than welcome to do so. Now this is the bridge which goes from Maze Bank over to the other part of Los Santos. This bridge around originally wasn't meant to connect to the road, uh, but because of the space we had and the adaption we made, we, we kind of thought it would look better if we connected that to the road. So you're able to go into Maze Bank over here, and this will of course take you up to this ledge over here as well. Uh, now there's a few other things around here which you're able to check out. There's also uh, a more storage for vehicles and underpasses just under there. And last but not least, one of the coolest features which I'm really happy with is um, a tunnel which I created. And this tunnel will actually take you through here into what would be downtown Los Santos as well. But of course we ran out of space. So instead of doing that, I made it look like the island had crumbled under the tunnel. So under here, um, there's actually this, just a secret ledge. I'm impressed with this, and if you want to get this map for yourself, I will leave the code in the description below. No one has played this yet. I haven't even had a single game on this yet. Uh, but if you guys do end up playing this with your friends or just have some matches on here, just let me know in the comments below what you think of this. If I could improve anything with this, let me know in the comments below, guys. But either way, Los Santos in Fortnite. I am happy with this. I'm impressed, and I can't wait to play this. And of course, guys, remember to smile smash that thumbs up button. That would just be amazing. And I recommend you do end up subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on awesome stuff like this on a daily basis. But guys, until next time, thank you so much for watching. My name is Nort, and stay absolutely awesome. I'll see you guys in the next video.